Hi guys, I'm Carla from Carla Ceramics and welcome back to another video. Uh, my upload schedule is a bit all over the place because summer is happening. I'm also thinking about making some different types of videos than I've been making in the past. So I just need some time to figure everything out. But for today I have a video idea and I thought let's just make it. And in this video I'm going to show you how to pour different glazes into a piece. So I got some bowls and I will just pour different colors of glaze into it. Then I will like swirl it around a bit. And then we will just see what happens um, when it's being fired. Uh, normally on this channel I just show you how to do it exactly and how um, it works for me. But in this video I thought it would be fun to just take you with me on the process of trying out different things. And then we can on the end see together what comes out of the kiln and what worked and what didn't work. I hope something worked out because otherwise this video might be a bit disappointing. But since you're watching I think something came out nice i hope <laughs> so to find out let's just get started with the first piece okay for this video i've just uh, picked out some random glaze combinations um that i think might look nice but since i've never tried it i've no idea how it's going to work out for the first one i'm going to use arctic blue texture turquoise and tourmaline they're all like a bit blue greenish colors so i thought maybe they match nice together so first thing we do is just mix them, that's always a bit boring but it needs to happen, so <laughs> here we go. Okay, so I just take one of the glazes I think and I'm just going to start pouring something in. I'm going to try to put the right amount in here so that I don't have to pour it out if that makes sense. So I'm just leave all of the glaze in here that I put in. I'm not really sure if that's going to work. This is already quite much. <laughs> and here, this one is the Arctic Blue. And then we're just going to roll this around a bit. Okay, it is looking quite cool already. Maybe I should have put in a bit more, no? No, 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 it's great, it's great. Let's see, shake it a little bit to get a glaze to this side. Oh, that is good, that looks really cool. I hope the lines will be this visible after it has been fired as well, but maybe they will blend a little bit, because the glaze will melt quite a bit. Now I just have a drip here and I just try to make the rim nice and flat. And then, it's a bit thick on this side, but I don't want to move it too much because otherwise the lines become so small that you won't be able to see them, I think. So now I have a little bit left here and I can either just pour this out or just leave it in. And I think I'm just going to leave it in. Then the glaze on this side might be a bit thicker, but I think I'm okay with that. Maybe I hate myself for leaving it in later, but <laughs> it's quite thick, but I'm just leaving it in. So now I'm just put it. Okay, I will just shake it a little bit to flatten the thick glaze here and then we will see what happens. But it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty, pretty cool. Can you see it? Look at that. For the next piece, I'm going to use different Ceradon glazes from Emco. These are also stoneware glazes. All of the glazes I'm using are stoneware glazes because I just always fire at a stoneware temperature. But you can of course also try pouring with uh, low fire glazes. And for the next one, I'm going for these three colors. Maybe it's a weird color combination, but maybe it looks fun. We will see what happens. But first, we also got to mix these. Okay, here's the next piece. The balls are not that interesting. I just threw them quickly. As you can see, it's quite thick, so it's not working that great. I'm shaking it a little bit, so that way it moves a little bit faster. And okay, it's not looking that bad. I might need a little bit more glaze because it is so thick. I think it will look nicer if you just take the right amount of glaze from the beginning, but maybe it will just blend in nicely and you won't really see it. And now I just 
shake it again. As you can see, it's quite thick and it also feels like it dries quite fast. So if you have struggle with the glaze drying too fast, you might want to try to fire your biscuit a bit higher. That way the glaze will dry a bit slower. But maybe it just works. <laughs> Okay, and just like that, the glaze is blended quite nicely. As you can see, there are some harder pieces in the glaze. I think they will melt away, but I'm not entirely sure. So I hope it's going to work out. As you can see, the color blends here is quite nice, like the little lines. For the next piece, I'm going to use the Northern Light Glaze combination colors. So I will be using Smoky Mellow, Indigo Float and Seaweed. And I will try these three glazes together on one piece, just like I did with the previous two pieces. And I will also be trying one with Obsidian, the color black, as the base color. So I will first just brush this on two or three. I think I'm going for two layers because the colors are already going to be quite thick. So I'm going for two coats of Obsidian and then put the colors on top of it. And then we can compare how different they will look because they will of course look different if there is black underneath it. And maybe the black will make it blend in even more. And we will just see what looks nicer. So first we gotta mix them again. I hate mixing my glaze. Oh, this one is empty and very dry. I hope I have not one. I got not one. <laughs> Otherwise we would have a problem. So this one, I'm going to throw this one out. And here we go. This is an old one. It has like a smaller lid. Interesting. Did I already grab a fork? Here we go. <laughs> yes. Here we go again. Okay, uh, the seaweed is kind of gone. <laughs> I don't know where it went. I mean, mm, okay, it's coming through a little bit, but I will just pour in a bit more. It just went underneath it, I don't know how. And then we just move it around again. Okay, it's looking pretty cool. I hope, as I said before, that you still see all the small lines when the glaze melts, but I kind of expect it to blend in more. That you won't see the lines this sharp, but we will see. In the end, I just like to shake it a little bit to flatten the bit of clay, so that's a bit thicker. And then it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. <laughs> and we will just see what happens. And here I have the bowl with the obsidian on top of it, so I'm quite excited to see how this will work out. And I just put the same glaze in as I just used.
here on the sides it looks quite interesting here it's already blended a bit so here you see the seaweed that's kind of on top of the smoke below so that can look pretty cool we will see after it has been fired the next three glazes i'm going to use are Vert Lustre, Art Deco Green and Blue Lagoon I'm using three glazes, but you can also, of course, use more glazes, but I feel like you also don't want to overdo it, maybe. But we'll see what happens. As you can see, these glazes are quite liquidy, which is easy to pour, but as you can see, they kind of blend together and mix. So I think that the lines are going to disappear a bit while firing, but maybe it will still look cool. We will just see what happens. As you can see, there are quite some cool color like changes here but the colors did blend in quite a bit so we will just see what happens hi guys okay are we there yes how is the hair doing horrible <laughs> okay i've now poured five pieces with amico glazes and the next one which is going to be the last one for this video i'm going to be using bots pro glazes just to see how this will work with a different brand of glaze and the pro glazes can be fired at any temperature and they are a bit see-through. I'm going for the colors opal white, agate, grey <laughs> and blue, topaz blue. So blue, grey and white. I've got my little steering stocks. <laughs> okay, when the glaze is a bit thick like this so it doesn't really drip off but like yeah it's just thick <laughs> then i just add a little bit of water so that it will get a bit thinner and then it's easier to do this technique i think i hope <laughs> so i just put in a little bit of water and then i just stir it again and as you can see it's now nice and flowing fluent flowing flip flip flu it's good <laughs> The six balls that I have just poured are all finished and they are now ready to dry before going into the kiln for a glaze fire. I will be firing them at 1220 degrees Celsius. So far all of them look quite nice and I think some of them will come out well, some of them might go wrong, I'm not sure yet. Some of them might have a bit too much glaze in them because the glaze dripped down to the bottom and kind of built up there and it's a bit too thick there. But since it's on the inside of the bowl it can't really pour out or get onto the kiln shelf or anything so maybe Nothing bad happens, but it can also get pinholes. We will just see. So for now, I just wait till they completely dry and I will probably put them in the kiln tomorrow.
It's two days later and the kiln has finally cooled down. So let's head over there and see what happened with the glaze experiments. I'm quite excited, so let's see what happens. So far everything looks quite nice. Um, I do see that some of the glaze has um, melted in together quite a lot. So you don't really see the lines that I'd hoped to see, but with some you do see them. So I will, I will take them out and then we'll have a closer look together. This is my favorite from the shelf uh, at the top. As you can see, this is the one I think with the botch glazes. And the thing that I like most about it is the bottom where you see the different colors next to each other quite well. At the sides the glaze melts a bit more and run down to the bottom and because of that you don't really see the lines but the transitions in color are quite nice so I'm quite happy with this one and um, yes it's quite cool <laughs> with this one um, I see that a few things went wrong this one is with the Celadons from Emiko and there were some harder pieces in the glaze and I hoped and I actually expected those to melt in the kiln but they didn't <laughs> so that's a bit unfortunate so as you can see there are some harder pieces in it that stand out so that's not great um, but now for the next time that I'm doing this I know that I have to take those out before putting it into the kiln and the other thing that you can see is that where the green glaze is a little bit thicker the um, there are like little air bubbles and I think that's because the green glaze was just a bit too thick but I'm honestly not sure <laughs> This Ooh, oh my god, I dropped it. <laughs> I dropped it and I fang it again. Fang it, fang it, catched it, catched it. Uh, <laughs> but here you can see the next piece. This one looks quite nice. This one is with the Emiko glaze that are like all with blue and green. I'm not sure which ones I use, but I will just include in screen. I'll just look back at my own video because I don't remember. But the glazes mix quite well, in my opinion. Um, it's a version that you don't really see all of the lines that you saw before it was fired. But yeah, the colors are quite nice and no pinholes, nothing like that. So that is nice. And I'm quite happy with this one. So yeah. <laughs> and here is another one. Here the glaze is really blended into each other. So also a bit unfortunate that you don't see all of the lines. But the colors are quite nice. So not really happy with it, but it didn't really go wrong either. So. Yeah. <laughs> so far it looks quite nice. This one looks really cool. This one also looks quite nice. This is one with underglazes. You will see more about that in the next video. So that's a little preview, I guess. If I look sweaty, it's because I'm sweating. <laughs> it's 32 degrees in here. Um, degrees Celsius. So it's very warm. And I'm not made for that. But let's have a closer look to the pieces in the kiln. <laughs> It looks quite nice, this one um, does have a little bit more lines in the different glazes, but not like as sharp as I hoped they would be. But I think that will look better with inner glazes. So you'll have to wait for the next video to see how the inner glaze works out. But it does look quite nice, so I'm also happy with this one. Okay, that one. Uh, it's a bit hot. Okay. This one is the one with the Northern Light Glaze combination with the Obsidian as the base. And the colors did blend in quite a lot, but it still looks really nice. So I'm happy with this one. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, pretty cool. But overall, I'm quite happy with how everything turned out. I hoped to see more of the lines really from pouring it, but glaze melts. So <laughs> we'll just have to deal with that. I can try the same things again and then maybe fire it to a lower temperature. So now I fire to 1220 degrees and maybe I can fire to 1200 degrees because um, then the glaze melts quite a bit less and then it might stay more at one place and then you will see the lines maybe because it doesn't really drip or run in that case. But then the colors turn out a bit less vibrant in my opinion than with 1220 degrees that's why I always fire to 1220 degrees. So Celsius, I'm talking Celsius, we're in Europe. <laughs> but 
but yeah, everything is quite nice. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I hope you learned something from it. Um, I did learn quite a lot, so don't leave hard pieces of glaze in the glaze when you're firing it. And it was quite fun to do. So I will probably make some more tests with this and maybe you'll come across them on Instagram. Or maybe I'll make another video in the future where I just try out some different things when they come up in my mind. <laughs> so that was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it and learned something new from it. And I hope to see you next week, because next week I will be doing the same thing as in this video, but then with inner glazes. Um, oh, if you're trying this yourself and you're going to post it on Instagram, please tag me, because I would love to see your results. If you're not posting it on Instagram, but you would like to share it with me, you can send me an email or send it to Instagram in my DMs, because I would love to see this done with different glazes, and maybe fired at different temperatures, whatever. So if you want to share something with me, I would love to see it, and furthermore, have a nice week, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>